Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a times a, which is the same thing as a squared. Same thing multiplying here, as we write as 5 raised to the power x or squared. Then equals to 60 from here. The next step, this also follows when we have a raised to the power m. Then raised to the power n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m n. That is, this power multiplies, and we have 5 raised to the power 2x equals to 60 from here. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log 5 raised to the power 2x equals to log. 60 from here. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes 2x log 5 equals to log 60 from here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 5. Divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5. Which implies here, log 5 cancelled each other. And we have 2x left, which is equal to log 60 over log 5. Then, next step here. We can express 60 as 5 times 12, which implies what we have becomes 2x equals to log 5 times 12 over log 5. And also here, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here, what we have becomes 2x equals to log 5 plus log 12 over log 5. And also here, we separate this into two fractions. And this gives us 2x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 12 over log 5. That is, from here, we have log 5 cancelled each other and one left here. That is, 2x equals to 1 plus log 12 over log 5. Then next step here also we can write 12 as 4 times 3 which implies we have 2x equals to 1 plus log 4 times 3 then over log 5. Then also here yeah, this follows on the law of logarithm. And we have 2x equals to 1 plus log 4 plus log 3 over log 5, which implies also here yeah, we separate this into two fractions and we have 2x equals to 1 plus log 4 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. Then also here, what can be expressed as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. And what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 squared over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. Then here, also we apply 
the power of logarithm 2 comes in. We have 2x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 over log 5 and plus log 3 over log 5. The next step here. We apply change of base here when we have log a over log b. This is same thing as log a to base b. That is what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. That is from here. Divide both side by 2, divide this side by 2, also divide this side by 2. Here, 2 cancel each other. And we have x left, which is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5, then all over 2. So here, we have the value of x in this problem as 1 plus log 2 base 5. Plus log 3 base 5 over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2 and times also 5 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2 then is it equals to 60 on this side? Then what we have here same base and same power multiplying. That is when we have a raised to power m times a raised to power m. This can be written as a raised to power m plus m, which is 2m. At this here we have 5 raised to power 2 times power which is 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2 then is it equals to 60 on this side that is here yeah. this power multiplies and 2 here cancel each other and what we have left becomes 5 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 is it equals to 60 on this side then we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n which is something as a raised to power m times a raised to power n here we have 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 is it equals to 60 on this side? And 5 raised to power 1, same thing as 5. Then times here, we reverse this 2 from power log. This becomes 5 raised to power log 2 square. Is 5 times here, 5 raised to power log 3 is 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? And here we have 5 times 5 raised to power log. 2 squared as 4 base 5 times 5 raised to the power log 3 base 5. Is it equals to 60 from here? And this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. Here that's 4 and here that's 3. So we have 5 times 4, 10 times 3 is equals to 60 here. And 5 times 4, 20, 20 times 3, 60, which is equal to 60 on this side. And then left hand side 
is equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell and share this video with thumbs up and put your comment see you next lesson bye for now